Hello and welcome to this edition of the Great Ideas for Teaching Science video series. In this edition, we will highlight the use of resources and best practices to help educators meet new science standards, both national and state, help motivate and engage science students, and to explain how science and engineering practices can enrich student experiences in any classroom. I think we can all agree that we want our students to practice problem solving in the classroom. They should be comfortable using this valuable skill set when faced with real world problems in the future. The question is, how do we motivate our students to be problem solvers? Personal investment provides powerful motivation. One of the best ways I've found to encourage student engagement was when I asked them to choose a natural phenomenon to study and explain, or a problem to engineer solutions for. When considering a new science curriculum, look for the opportunities it can provide students to engage with that subject matter. Three-dimensional learning and phenomena have been shown to be a part of an effective science curriculum. Phenomena is a real-world observable event. The concept of phenomena-based learning is something you've probably heard recently, as it is one method used to fashion curriculum to incorporate all three dimensions of science education, as well as providing that essential motivation component. The three dimensions I reference are science and engineering practices, disciplinary core ideas, and cross-cutting concepts. Elevate Science is designed to help create a student-centered classroom where investigation into natural phenomena provides opportunities for students to achieve these new expectations. We start each topic engaging scientific and engineering practices as part of an overarching quest activity. The quest storyline encourages students to use lesson content to successfully complete their quest activity, paving the way for achievement of the topic performance assessment. Let's take a closer look. Elevate Science is a print and digital curriculum solution that starts with a phenomenon and leads into a problem-based storyline for students to connect real-world issues with the learning they will encounter throughout the rest of the topic. Curriculum that properly addresses new standards should include lessons built around a large-scale problem-based project. Well-designed science programs provide opportunities for students to use the information gained through the lesson content to solve a problem or propose a solution. In Elevate Science, students use unique lesson content, either through the write-in student edition, digital interactivities, or our inquiry-based activities in labs to complete the overall quest. The multiple quest check-in opportunities found throughout the topic reinforce the importance of the lesson content. These checkpoints allow students to apply the information they are learning to solve a problem. Students enrich the classroom learning environment through discussions and presentations of their novel solutions. They use science and engineering practices at multiple points through the quest as they interact with open inquiry lab investigations. These components include the UConnect, you investigate, you demonstrate, and STEM labs. The engineering and design notebook, available in the middle school curriculum, provides additional opportunities for students to develop science and engineering practices. Let's take a closer look at how we can further develop inquiry strategies with our students. How many times do your students ask, when are we doing a science lab? We all love the doing part of science class. I found that my students had a much more enriching classroom experience when they developed their own investigation. I can't tell you how many step-by-step cookie-cutter lab activities I reviewed before realizing that my students thrived when taking a more active role in the inquiry process. The Elevate Science model encourages student-centered inquiry and engineering design processes in which students choose the problem or ask a question they investigate. Choose the procedure that establishes how they will investigate their own problem or a problem or question that has been provided. Design a data collection or recording method. Choose a real world engineering problem to solve. Choose materials to solve a design problem. Design numerous solutions. Choose the optimal solution. 
test, redesign, and retest a solution. Assessment of these skills can be difficult. The U-Demonstrate Lab provides an opportunity for students to show that they are able to use the concepts and skills developed through the course of the Quest activity and apply that knowledge to a similar problem. When students plan their own investigations and execute their own design solutions, their learning advances. When students ask questions, they connect with what they already know and learn how to ask testable questions. When students devise their own procedures, they understand what makes an investigation controlled and repeatable. When outcomes are unexpected, students have a chance to ask, does my procedure need improvement? Are these results repeatable? When students disagree about results, they can argue their conclusion with supporting evidence from their investigations and design tests. It is crucial that rubrics are used to score student performance on this type of assessment. These tools and suggestions can be found in the teacher's edition. One of the most difficult things for me as a new teacher was to effectively incorporate inquiry questioning during class. When students had questions, my first inclination was to provide them with the answer or instruction. I soon realized it was essential for me to develop my inquiry questioning strategies. Feel free to use the question prompts provided here to help students develop the habits of mind that will lead to in-depth understanding. When you ask one of these questions, allow students time to wrestle with it, require a think time pause during classroom discussions, encourage small group discussions, circle back to the question later in the lesson, and have a designated student search the internet for information or assign the question for homework. Click on the image to download a copy of question prompts you can use anytime during class. The Claims Evidence Reasoning, or CER organizer seen here, can be used anytime students have questions about a natural phenomenon, starting a new concept or topic, as well as providing a starting point for any research investigation project. Click on the image to download a copy of the CER organizer. Thanks so much for joining me to explore different ways to engage students in our science classrooms. If you're interested in more from our GIFTS series, check out the links to other videos.